I got excited about seeing Dr. Danton when he asked me to help him on a medical problem. He was a famous man in the field of medical research, and if he figured that a camera could help, I was ready. What are you doing here? Answer me, what are you doing here? I was invited here, what about you? I'm Earl Grant, I work here. Well, my name's Mike Kovac. Dr. Danton invited me up here, we're friends. So are you threatening me with that? Maybe. We better talk this over before somebody gets hurt. I'm looking for Dr. Danton. Gone away. He'll be back in about a week. I don't believe that. Anyway, he doesn't invite strangers here. Get out. I'll wait for Dr. Danton. Better get out before somebody gets hurt.
you tell me where the sheriff is? His office is closed, but his car's out front. He's having coffee in the cafe. Thanks. Will you put my luggage in a room for me? Hey, mister. Hey. I'm telling you, Sheriff, there's something wrong out there. Well, Mr. Kovang, a lot of photographers have tried to get a picture of Ben Danton. He just doesn't want to be bothered. He may have seen you coming and decided to take a walk in the woods. Oh, no, he wouldn't do that. He invited me out here. He wants me to meet a girl named Susan Barnes, a deaf mute that he's been trying to help. Sure, I know Susan. Poor kid. Her folks died and Doc took her in. She didn't have much schooling. So she couldn't say a word or even make signs. Well, that's exactly what this is all about. The doctor told me he bought a camera for her. It's one of those that develops and prints a picture in a minute or so. And he said it was helping her. Yes, yeah, she has it with her all the time. And he also told me that she was actually communicating with it. And so he invited me up here to do a photo layout on the technique to go along with a thesis that he's writing. Now, it's very important and exciting to him. So I know he wouldn't break the appointment. Well, if Mr. Danton broke it, that is odd. No, oh, I know he wouldn't run out on me. Another thing, that Earl Grant, I don't like the way he threatened me. Maybe he thought you were a prowler, mister. Yes, the way you told it to me, Mr. Kovac, you socked him in the jaw. Maybe it's him that's got a squawk coming. <laughs> He's been hit before. Do you know Earl Grant? Sure, he's a nice guy. But he has one fault. What? He's excitable. What are you gonna do about it, Sheriff? Well, you have a room here. Well, why not be patient? Just wait over, see if Danton shows up, huh? Wait a minute, hold it, dear. This Susan Bond? Yes, this is Susan, Mr. Kovac. Come here. She sure seems excited about whatever it is she's trying to tell you. Now, wait a minute. Mr. Kovac, she's always trying to tell us something. I followed her once for three miles into the woods, and what do you think she showed me? A dead squirrel she discovered. Susan, come here. And she was just as excited then as she is now. Susan, wait a minute now. Yeah, but look at her. She seems afraid. Oh, Mr. Kovac, if she had anything to tell us, she'd have snapped a picture of it. Since she got that camera, she doesn't go anywhere without it. Well, she came here without it. So do you mind if I try to find out what's bothering her? No, I don't mind, but I didn't want her disturbing you. Wait a minute, dear. I'll fix her a milkshake. Well, I've got some cruising to do. I'll see you around a little later. And don't worry about Danton. He'll show up. Susan, you stay with him. Susan, listen. Where's your camera? Susan? Wanna see how it works? Wanna see how it works? So you look down in here, and you focus right here. And this is how you snap the shutter, right here. I uh, put your luggage in 212. All right, thanks. I'm sorry to bother you, but you'll have to pay in advance. That's a house rule. Oh, well, I wouldn't want to break any house rules. Susan! Susan! Hey, Mr. Kovac! <laughs> What's this all about? I wish I knew what it was you're trying to tell me. What's going on out here? I thought I heard something. I see you got your camera back. Yes. 
I saw Susan take a picture of something right through that window. Probably of me. I'm alone in there, closing up till dinner time. You know, it's very funny. She seems afraid of you now. Who well, knows? Sometimes she's afraid of her own shadow. Well, she's not afraid of me. Has she sure been trying to tell me something? Well, she can't. Well, maybe this camera can. I'll let you know how the picture turns out. Now, Earl, are you going to tell me? Where did you get the money? It's all yours, Lila. I did it for you. You did what for me? Answer me, what did you do for me? Earl, you come in here acting strange. You make me close up, you pile money on the table. Why? Why? Couldn't stand to see the customers throw dimes at you. Earl, I'm a waitress. Everybody tips a waitress. Now you don't have to grub for their money anymore. Now you've got plenty of your own. Earl, where did you get the money? I stole it. From the doctor. He just wanted to stay on the farm. Never leave. Study there. He kept his money hidden in the woods. Nobody knew where it was except him. Till I learned where it was. You stole money from him? He was going to give it to Susan, to charity, to a school for deaf mutes. I couldn't let him do that. Oh, well, then take it back right away before it's too late. You'll never miss it, Lila. What? Look, what I did, I did for you. Me? Now, I tried to help you. You've got to help me. When he caught me digging it up, I... He's dead. Girl, you... you killed him. I was taking a walk in the woods. I, I didn't want to hurt him. I, I got panicky. No, Lila, don't look at me that way. What I did, I did for you. Now, please, you've got to help me. Oh, I can't, Earl. It's too late. Look, if you love me, you'll hide the money. We'll sit tight. Till it blows over for a year, if we have to. He's buried in Deep Gully. They'll never find him. Oh, Earl, I don't know what to do. I like you, sure. No! You love me. All right, Earl, I love you. What will you do when the sheriff comes? I don't know. Look, if you stand by me, they'll never catch me. You're wrong, Earl. Susan has already caught you. Why? Well, sure, she saw me do it, but she can't talk, she can't hear. What do you mean? She took a picture through the window. She saw us and, and the money on the table. That photographer Kovac, he has her in the picture. Where is he staying? Staying here in the hotel. <laughs> I haven't been able to locate the sheriff yet. He must still be out on the highway. Hey, what's that for? It's a portable developing unit. I always carry it with me when I travel. Oh. You could honestly stick close to that switchboard and try to locate the sheriff. Oh, sure. You want me to look after uh, Susan for you? You just find the sheriff. He'll take care of her. Well, sure, Mr. Kovac. Susan, I wish I could understand you. Is it the money? Is that what's got you so excited? All right, I understand that much now. Lila and Earl have a lot of money in the cafe. What's so important about that? That's well, Dr. Danton. I understand you. What do you 
one. I thought maybe I better apologize, Mr. Kovac, for the way I acted out at the place. Probably heard how cranky the old man was. What do you mean, was? Well, yes, it's gotten better lately. Never used to allow anybody on the place. Now it seems he invited you. He used to be cranky. I guess I was getting just like him. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Well, I came to take Susan home, of course. No. I said I was taking her home. We'll talk to the sheriff first. Look, she's the old man's ward. She lives on the farm. While he's away, I'm her guardian. When's he ever away? Now, today. You seem to have an explanation for everything. What about this? Susan! No! Take her home where she belongs. Was that a crash I heard upstairs? I didn't hear anything. Oh, hello, Sheriff. This is Bill at the hotel. Look, Mr. Kovac asked me to contact you. He wanted to turn Susan over to you. But that won't be necessary now because Earl Grant came to town and got it. Where? Bridgeburg? All right, anybody asks, I'll tell him. Where's Earl Grant? Well, he went home. He took Susan home. What about the sheriff? Have you located him? Oh, sure. I was just talking to him. Well, get him here. You told him there was no need for him to drop by. What? He returned my call, asked me what I wanted. I told him, never mind, that Earl took Susan home. Get the sheriff here. Yeah, but he told me he was going on a cruise to Bridgeburg. That's 10 miles away. Listen, you get the sheriff here and send him out to the Danton Ranch as fast as you can. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why are you here? I came to tell you I can't help you, Earl. Look, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to say when I see the sheriff. I, maybe I want you to take that money and run. Run as far and as fast as you can. I don't know what I want except to stay out of it. I don't know how it all got going, Lila. It all started when I first thought of the money. Oh, that's what makes it hard for me, Earl. I know you did it for me, but... I won't go anywhere without you. What about prison? They'll never catch us. Us? I want no part of stealing and murder. Then you shouldn't have come here. Because you're going to have to have another part of it. What? Her. Take a look at that picture she took of us. Anyone seeing that picture would wonder where the money came from. She knows. Now, you're not going to harm Susan. She's got to be silenced. <laughs> it's a good one. Man has to fix it so a mute can't talk. No! You think I want to hurt her? You think I want to hurt that kid? You think I want her to hurt the old man? That's what's so stupid about something like this, Lila. It starts with one little idea and you get in deeper and deeper and you can't quit. All of a sudden, you've got no choice. A man will do anything to save his own skin. Susan. I don't know. Earl took her. He, he hit me and, the, and then he took Susan out. You've got to hurry. He's going to kill her. Well, Lila, you've got to think now. I can't search the whole woods. Where'd he take her? Well, I know where he 
Mike took the old man's body, Susan might be, he might have taken her there. It's called Deep Gully. I'll show you. Come on. There's a path up there through the trees. Follow it. Look, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Why did the doctor have to teach you to talk with that camera? Why did he have to keep his money buried in the woods? Why did he have to decide to give it to you in charity? You'll never know I'm sorry. Why can't I make you understand? I think he's taking her to Deep Gully. Hurry! Kovac? Yeah. Yeah, right in here. Well, what's this? Hi, Sheriff. It's a going away gift. Well, it's all over, but official court approval. Susan will be doing exactly what Doc Danton wanted her to. That's fine. She'll be staying with my wife and me until Doc's money is officially turned over to her. Then she goes to a clinic upstate where they teach mutes to talk. You know, Sheriff, it's nice of you to take the trouble. Glad to help. Now, look, have Susan take a lot of pictures and send them to me, and I'll send her pictures. You know, like writing letters. Go along, Sheriff. Susan. So worked up about. <laughs> I don't know. Susan, goodbye now. You take a lot of pictures. time anyone has. Thanks, Susan. Sheriff, take good care of her. 